Project managers have to answer a lot of questions. Like, is the project on schedule? Is it on budget? How much more money do we need to complete it? What will the overall cost be at completion? Can you answer all these questions about your project? You can if you know Earn Value Management. Earn Value Management is a set of calculations based on project data that allows you to understand the health of your project. The basic concept is that every dollar spent generates some project value. Let's say you had a project to build a brick wall and your team estimates that they need 10,000 bricks, that the average cost will be $1 per brick, and they can lay 1,000 bricks per week. The wall should then cost $10,000 total and take 10 weeks to complete. The total cost is called the Budget at Completion, or BAC. At the end of week one, you plan to complete 10% or 1,000 bricks and spend $1,000 at a dollar per brick. Plan value can now be calculated for week one as budget completion times the plan percentage complete, in this case, $1,000 of plan value. At the end of week one, your team's actual performance was 9% completed or only 900 bricks, and they spent $950 of actual cost. Earned value can now be calculated for week one as budget at completion times the actual percentage complete or $900 of earned value. Let's recap week number one. You originally planned to lay 1,000 bricks at a plan value of $1,000 and a cost of $1,000. But actually, you only laid 900 bricks for an earned value of $900 and a cost of $950. So how are we doing on the schedule? How about the budget? We can now calculate two schedule performance measures, the first being schedule variance. Schedule variance is earned value minus plan value or negative $100. Schedule performance is calculated as earned value divided by plan value or in this case, 0.9. Because SV is a negative dollar amount and SPI is below one, this project is behind schedule. In other words, we did not complete $100 worth of bricks in the wall or we only completed 90% of what we expected to. We can also calculate two cost performance measures. First, cost variance, which is calculated as earned value minus actual cost, in this case, negative $50, and cost performance index, which is earned value divided by actual cost, in this case, 0.95. Because CV is a negative dollar amount and CPI is below one, this project is over budget. In other words, we spent more than $1 per brick, or we only got 95 cents value out of every dollar we spent. Now that we know how our team performed in the first week, we can predict some things about the future. First of all, estimate at completion is the new expected cost of the project after week one. Variance at completion is the difference in the original expected cost and the new expected cost of the project after week one. An estimate to complete is how much more money we need to spend to finish the remaining work. Estimate at completion is calculated as BAC divided by CPI. Variance at completion is calculated as BAC minus EAC. Estimate to complete is calculated as EAC minus AC. The project is now expected to cost $526 more than originally expected. We will need to spend $9,576 on the project remaining work to complete it. 
Based on our earned value analysis, we now know the project is 10% behind schedule, 5% over budget. We need to spend $9,576 more to complete the project. And the overall project will cost $10,526 at completion. With this information, the project manager can now make good decisions about how to adjust the team performance in week two.